Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hello, welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video I'm going to be doing a, like, what's in my travel makeup bag, and then just a quick overview of what I packed for my three-week vacation in Thailand and Japan. I had posted this on Instagram with a carry-on bag and a backpack, saying that that was all I was packing, and asked if you guys wanted to see what I ended up packing to only travel with a backpack and a carry-on bag international for three weeks instead of having to worry about a checked bag and dealing with baggage claim. So pretty much I'm mainly going to run through the makeup products but at the end I will just go over what else I had in my backpack and then what I brought in my suitcase clothing wise but I'm not really going to go through all the clothing items but just to give you guys an idea of how to pack because the specific item doesn't really matter, it's just the type, if that makes any sense. So all the products on my face right now are using products I took with me. Nothing else on my face is from like what I have in my apartment here. It is all products I took with me. So yeah, if you want to see the products I packed, then just keep on watching. So first we're just going to go into this little bag here, and it is just a small little Ipsy bag. So obviously I had more cotton pads, but in that little bag were some cotton pads. I have my little mini contact solution and a contact case. I have the little mini travel sizes of the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser, Confidence in an Eye Cream, and Confidence in a Cream. I took this Bliss um, Makeup Melt uh, Jelly Cleanser, so you can use this for your face, but you can also use it on your eyes, so I would put this on the cotton pad and take my eye makeup off. I brought a lip scrub, just because um, the heat and just everything, I wanted to just make sure my lips weren't all crusty. And then I brought two little samples of Dr. Brandt products. I really liked the Microdermabrasion. It smells pretty nice, and it just really, like, exfoliates. <laughs> and then this one, I liked the effect and, like, what it did for my skin. I just couldn't get past the smell of this. I don't even know what it smells like. I just, I didn't like it. Once it dries down, you can't really smell it. But putting it on, I just did not like the smell of this at all. And this is their vacuum cleaner face mask. So next is this Beautyac bag and I pretty much just kept makeup brushes in here. I will leave the Beauty Act video I did down below unboxing the VIP kit so you guys can see everything else in the box and like my initial thoughts of it. Well, aside from the Beauty Act bag, I talked about how it's very travel friendly because all you need to bring is one handle and you get a foundation brush, a blush brush, and a powder brush and then I also brought their makeup sponge which is really dirty because I literally just used it before turning on the camera so next I brought the Morphe M432 to carve out underneath my eyebrows the Morphe M506 small little like tapered brush Sigma tapered blending E40 the Sigma E30 pencil brush this dual ended brush from Eco Tools with like a flat shader brush and then a tapered blending brush. This other Eco Tools one with like a angled liner brush and then just another like flat shader brush. An eyebrow brush from Makeup Shack. This Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. This Real Techniques uh, Setting Brush which I use for highlighter. And then this e.l.f. angled brush. Well, finally getting into the makeup, I brought this makeup bag here. And this is from Adrian Vitadini. No idea how to say that. So it's just a makeup bag with the little compartments here. So you've got a small little one, a little bit of a bigger one, and then like a meshy one. So starting off, I packed my toothbrush and a travel thing of toothpaste, mainly for being at the airport. And then um, my mom already had toothpaste in Japan, and then my family has toothpaste in Thailand as well so there's no need for me to bring a big thing of toothpaste and then also in that top compartment I've got little tweezers and then the eyelash glue from House of Lashes the dark tone one alright so next we're gonna move into that second pocket and going off with the items in the first pocket I guess I could have put these in there too these are the Ardell faux mink in 811 and they're just they're not overly dramatic lashes, 
but they're small in the front and taper out at the end to be a little bit longer. And these are trimmed a little bit because my eyes are really short and really small. I've got two little translucent powders. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then this is their Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. I brought the Maybelline Fit Me Face Powder. And then the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So then I brought two palettes. I brought this Ofra one because it is an all-in-one type palette. I actually have two of these Ofra Pro palettes, so I kind of like mixed the shades around a little bit. I just figured this is so neutral. You have your bronzer, your blush, your highlight, eyeshadows, and even like brow products here. I brought the Juvia's Place Saharan 2 palette. If I didn't pack this palette, I still could have gotten very simple looks with the Ofra palette, which I would have been okay with for vacation and whatnot. But I just wanted the extra option, especially if I wanted a little pop of blue. Alright, so now we're going into the last little like mesh pocket of this makeup bag. So I brought a sunscreen from Neutrogena. It's just a one fluid ounce little sunscreen with SPF 70. For foundation, I brought the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. And I actually have the shade 7, which is a little bit too neutral for me. So I actually mixed my LA Girl um, yellow foundation pigment in here to help make it more yellow for my skin tone instead of looking super pink. And this wore really, really well. So I'm really happy I took this foundation. I took this BB cream. My mom gave it to me. And it is a little bit too light for my skin tone. But if I put this on and then I did like the foundation powder or kind of used this and in combination with this a little bit, I could make it work for my skin. Um, and this is just the Pate, P-A-T-E, um, Mineral BB Cream. For concealer, I took my Mary Kay Color Corrector and then their concealer in the shade Light Beige. Eyeshadow primer, I took my Kat Von D eyeshadow primer. It's in my Use Before the Move, and some other of the products in here you will see are in my Use Before the Move as well. So it was just a product I could get three weeks of use out of without having to worry about using other products that I have in my collection, so I really got to use a good amount of this. For brows, I took my Benefit Cabrow, and this is in the shade number 5. My Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I took a lip balm with SPF, and this is just the Ulta brand with SPF 30. I took the two NYX liquid suede that are in my Use Before the Move, and these were just like the perfect like everyday lip colors to wear. I brought the Kathleen Lights collaboration with ColourPop, and this is in the shade Moonchild. And then for one of the days, we went to Disney Tokyo, so what better than to bring the Dose of Colors Mickey Mouse lip gloss. And then for mascara, I brought the Pure Fully Charged, and then I brought the Chanel Lash Primer, as well as their La Volume de Chanel Mascara Sample. Then I brought this Victoria's Secret Tease little rollerball perfume, and it smelled so good. So then I took two travel size setting sprays. This first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then this one is from Kula and it is their SPF 30 Makeup Setting Spray, Green Tea and Aloe. Um, I pretty much brought this for the SPF Factor in the face spray. Alright guys, so that was it for all the makeup products I brought. I'll go over kind of like my backpack and everything and what else I put in here. I don't have it all in my backpack anymore, but just to talk over what I fit in here. So this is the backpack I brought and it's from First Form. I will leave it linked down below, but it is a very nice travel backpack. So you've got this side compartment here for a laptop and I just took my MacBook Pro. My HP is way too big to fit in this uh, pocket. I could have fit it in the main pocket, but... I wanted to save space, so I took my MacBook, put it in here. So the phone pocket here, I didn't end up putting my phone in because as you guys can see, my phone is a, a little too big for it. I have the Note 9 with an OtterBox on it and a little card holder, but it doesn't fit in here, but I could have put other stuff in here. I don't think I use this pocket at all though. So I don't know if you guys can really see the label here, this little like patch, but that's how I knew what's in each little like pocket if you decide to follow that but for this one I did I did end up keeping my charger in here this top pocket here I kept my glasses 
my sunglasses, and then I also kept my cell phone charger in here, but obviously I took it out because I've been home and charging my phone. This big pocket, I kept my passport and just some other stuff in. So then this middle pocket here, I kept like my wallet, a little mini purse, and just some other little items that didn't really stay too full. I think I kept the yellow skincare bag in this pocket as well. It has a little passport pocket here and your passport literally fits perfectly inside of it but I do have my passport in like a case so it doesn't really fit in there so I just kind of carried it in this front pocket. Other than that this front pocket pretty much had a pen so I can do my landing card on the plane and I think that was about it. I didn't really pack much in that. This side pocket here I didn't put anything in and then this side pocket they're both identical to the ones on the other side. This one I just kept a deodorant in. So then this big pocket here is where I kept the makeup bag, my brush, and then this little bag of some lady products because, yeah, lady products for that time of the month. So that is how I packed my travel carry-on backpack. And then for my suitcase, so again, I will keep the little Instagram story here so you guys can see my suitcase in comparison to the size of my backpack and just tell you guys quickly what I brought. Um, because again, the specific clothing item, like what exactly I brought didn't really matter. It's just the clothing type. And I know not everybody can pack for a three week vacation clothing wise in a small suitcase like that but I had the benefit of being in Japan and being at my mom and my stepdad's condo so I could do laundry. And then in Thailand at the house with my grandparents and my uncle, we have laundry there. So I know if you guys are like hotel bouncing and the hotel doesn't have a laundry, you might not be able to get away with the amount of clothes I brought. And I did pack with leaving room in my suitcase so I could buy items to bring back. So pretty much I packed a pair of jeans, a pair of shorts, and then like two pairs of pajama shorts. So I had like one to sleep in and then kind of like gym shorts. So then I packed about three or four shirts, just plain like t-shirts. And then I brought to wear, I brought two different dresses um, just because then it's like I didn't have to think about it and it was just really easy to wear. But then I also brought two dresses so that my grandma could help like sew it and like alter it a little bit because there's one that's just way too long and it's not like I wear high enough heels to like not trip over the dress. So there were two dresses I had my grandma alter. So pretty much four shirts, four dresses, and four pants. So then going on with the items, I brought four pairs of socks. I think I, I brought more underwear. Um, I brought like six pairs of underwear and then I brought a like a bra I could wear strapless depending on the dress I was wearing. I brought a normal bra and then I brought two sports bras. So pretty much everything I brought four of except for underwear I packed extra. So with that I only brought two pairs of shoes. Alright guys, so that was how I packed for a three week vacation with only a backpack and a carry on bag. What are your guys' travel essentials? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have like a pack with me or what I packed type video, again, let me know down below so I can go check that out. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell notification so you guys know every single time I upload. And yeah. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.